a couple weeks ago when I put out the video on two-way flying machine extensions, I broke it down into seven different cases because of like how quasi-connectivity behaves. Uh, but afterwards, Activation sent me a link to Comet 107's Flying Dragon. This is a two-year-old flying machine project for which Comet developed this. It's an extension that doesn't use quasi-connectivity, so it actually works rotated in any direction. In fact, they said they wanted to make a whole video just about this extension. They haven't in two years, so finally here, I think we're gonna try to give this extension the attention it deserves. I did have trouble attaching stuff to it, so I reshaped it slightly. Uh, now it's just three wide, uses honey and slime, so there's more places to attach to. I made like a hundred segments in a row. Long story short, after the seven cases I broke down in the last extension video, this now covers four of those cases without any modification. These four machines are the exact same design, just rotated and flipped in different directions. You can go up, down, left, right. So for any case where you're extending perpendicular to the direction of travel, this will do the trick. This is both more compact and faster, like this delay is shorter, than I think all but one of the designs over there. I'm going to start calling this thing the Comet Extension, both for Comet discovering the idea, but also because the uh, segments look like a C when you look at them from above. To build it, you start with two honey blocks and place down observers pointing in the direction of extension. If you want the extension to move uh, left and right, the honey blocks go on top of each other, and if you want the extension to move up and down, then the honey blocks go side by side. Side. Uh, from here, it's slime, pistons, so these pistons just pass the signal along to the next segment. Uh, and then lastly, some sticky pistons, and these are what actually do the movement. And that's one segment done. So to build it out further, you just keep adding segments whichever direction you like. To add controls, you can put two extra honey blocks here, note block there, and a note block there, and now you just click whichever direction you want it to move in. And then I think these segments are actually five blocks under push limit, Is that, that's six. <laughs> and yeah, that works just fine. So you get five blocks essentially you can uh, attach directly to the extension. And if you need more than five blocks, you can actually just put a sticky piston down here, and then you get the full, uh, like, extra 12 blocks. So there's 12. Yeah, and it works just fine. A lot of the stuff that I do know about technical Minecraft, I know because I post something that kind of sucks, and then someone points out a better version of it to me. I think a good skill to have as a technical Minecraft player is to train yourself to be happier about new tech discoveries than you are sad that your old stuff now sucks. That's all I got this time. My name's Chris. Thanks for watching.